Okay. All right, this is going to be about uh, family and the decisions behind family. In the book, uh, Magic Without Tears by Alistair Crawley, but uh, it's introduced by Israel Regardi. It's like in the, the form of, uh, he's, uh, and it's edited by Israel Regardi. It's edited in a, uh, it's edited, um, but it's, in the form of a, a woman uh, asking him questions about certain subjects. And uh, he's putting these the, uh, the papers together. That's why I said introduced by, which is placed in a uh, place. But it's uh, him, uh, a woman speaking to him in conversation form. So it is a different subjects. Okay. Uh, family, public enemy number one, one, what one okay <laughs> um do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law okay flesh the whole strength of the family is based on the fact that it cares for the family only. Therefore, its magical formula thus concentrated is of necessity hostile to so, to so exclusively individual an aim as initiation. As sentiments are reciprocated in every magical or similar system it is invariably the moat the first condition which the aspirant which is the one aspirant is like the magician like in training and uh going through the journey must fulfill he must once and for all and for and forever put his family outside his magical circle as uh, I can I can attest kind of attest to that because when you're uh, around family, you're not being the actual uh, deity you need to be because you're going off of what people know you as. You can't go fully. So being damn near being by yourself, and that's why you see the circle and the dot. The dot is the mind, but the circle is the, like yeah yeah like they say yeah your inner circle or but your your circle. So if you have one, have a different people have different size circles, but remember the dot is your mind, so it's like the black dot in the circle, and everything outside. That's why I say keep it outside your magical circle, which is your mind. Okay. The aspirant must fulfill. He must once and for all, and forever put his family outside his magical circle. Even the Gospels insist clearly and weightily on this. Christ himself, policy, i.e. whoever is meant by this name in this passage. Christ himself, policy, disowns his mother and his brethren. Luke 8 and 19. Uh, and he repeatedly makes dis discipline contingent. On the, on the total renunciation of his family ties, he would not even allow a man to attend his father's funeral. Is the magical tradition less rigid? Is the, uh, not in your life. The one serious grimory of the Middle Ages is the book of the sacred magic of Abram Malin, the Maj. Let me show you something. And it's crazy because I had this almost like a 444. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, I had this book for about over like a year and a half, I think. Uh, the book of the sacred magic of Abram Malin, the Maj, translated by S.L. McGregor. Mathers, 
Yeah, this is what he was talking about. Uh, you can find it on uh, Dover Press. Uh, man, this is crazy because I found out about that book, this book right here, because I was looking for uh, another book. <laughs> uh, went on this whole journey to get it, but uh, I ended up getting the book, and it was a lot of deception was going on, but I still got it. Um, so I got this book through me trying to find, I, I found out about this book. Oh, let me find this other book I have. Yeah, this is the book I was looking for. Uh, and I ended up finding it. The Book of the Law uh, by Alistair Crawley. And I was like, and it was crazy because it was something dealing deal with family was in town. And I was, they wanted me to go to eat. And uh, I, I didn't, they told me the very last second. I was like, I was in a, doing something. And I said, I'm going to find this book and see if they have it. So I went on this big hunt. And they one one place tried to lie, say they didn't have it, you know. And uh, and what uh they they called and they said yeah, they said they can't find it, but it's there in their system. So I was like, oh man. So I was like, a lot of things were going on, like family was in town, like I, I didn't have time, so I had to find this book. And I went on a hunt, and I went to the place. The place it was like when I I said, I mean, you know what, I'm just gonna go. Fuck it, I'm just gonna go. They said they can't find. It. I'll, just, I'll just find it myself. So I go into the store. I say yeah, they got it. They say you got it on file in your, in your computer, but you you can't find it on the floor. I said yeah. So I said I'm gonna look for it. So I said in my mind, I said I know what the book looks like. It's gonna be a red book. No, it's gonna be like a I think a red book. And he's uh, he's in uh, my mind. So I'm thinking that. So I go inside the store, looking on the, on the shelf where it should be. I'm like man, I can't find it. I can't find it. I'm looking. I said I'm not. I'm not gonna give up. Right. So next thing I know. I said, what is this book right here with the red on the side? Like, you can't see nothing on it. It don't say nothing on the side. I pick it up, and the book is right there. So you can't tell what's in the, on the binding by looking at the binding at all what on the book. So I turn the book over, and it's right there. Like, on the, damn near on the, on, the, on the side, you can't see anything on it. So I turn it to the front, and I said, there it is. I said, I said, here it is right here. I said, that's why you can't find it. Cause I don't have nothing on the binding. He looked at me like, you know, like he like he looked at me like, man, I work here and I couldn't find that motherfucker. I was like, I know. In my mind, I was like, I'm glad I found it. But the same day, I found this book. This is the book where I learned about the Abra Malin book. Okay, I, I, I was giving see and look. This is the Golden Dawn and Alistair Crawley. There's this book that he wrote. This book. Uh, was in the Golden Dawn, okay? Uh, R. A. This is by R. A. Gilbert of the Golden Dawn, the Twilight of the Magicians, and this is the Tarot, right here. You'll see right here, different depictions in the Tarot of uh, <laughs> the Book of Thoth, and you'll see a, a diff different depictions of the uh, the Book of Thoth. That's, see, I got. <laughs> um, the rise and the fall of a of the rise and fall of a magical order, foreword by Israel Regard Regardi. Again, you see him. He was in the Golden Dawn too. Also, he was one of uh, he was under actually, or one of his students of Alistair, Alistair Crawley. Yeah, I just said uh, the Book of Thoth. Um, the Tarot, you said, I said that the Tarot, and they have the Book of Thoth, you can actually get the card deck too, but the, um, I haven't, I don't have, I don't own the card deck, uh, they, they, they give you different depictions of the Tarot, but, let me get back to the story. 9-11 passed, locks me, I say, a uh, locks me, I say, so I was in the store, right, uh, so I was like, and I saw that book, I just showed you, um, uh, about t dealing with the golden dawn, so I flipped. I said, "Let me just do that little trick." Um, it's it's not a trick, but it's just it's something that happens. If you turn to a book and a page, it's probably something that you need to find, or it'd be something you can you can deal with. So I was I was I was like, I'm in the store. I said, "I flipped to this page right here," and just, and, it, and I like I was looking like, "Okay, it says whether the." Whether Mathers engineered, it was like they was going through something. Um, McGregor Mathers and uh, Alistair Crawley, they was going through like a, a little battle. 
in um uh, in the golden dawn at this time. Just a quick way to catch you up. Whether uh, Mathers engineered this discovery by the authorities or not is a matter for conjunction. But he was now in, in a position of undisputed power. He was also turning his attention to ritual magic. Of a dangerous kind. In 1896, he began work on the translation of a French magical text that was uh, finally, finally published in 1898 as the Book of the Sacred Magic of Abramelin de Maj. This work has been fought with peril. Mathers sent the translation to F.L. Gardner, who was arranging for his publication and warned him to be careful with both text and artwork. The shape of the casket represented by the head of the lower triad of demons in the drawing was altered completely in the pencil sketches and that, and that by no mortal hand. No Auburn Malin demons came out to bother the order but one of their disciples did on on listen to this on 18 November 1898 a neophyte was initiated into out into the outer order at Mark Mason's Hall where the meetings were regularly held who the name of Frater Perdarbo in the outside world he was Alistair Crawley and was soon to be the thorn in the flesh of Mathis, whom he was to rival and eventually to surpass in magical prowess. So if you, if you look at it, so if he was, uh, you gotta look at it, the, um, there's a lot of uh, deities in there too also you can use inside the, the Abba Malin uh, Maj book, but I'm not trying to get off topic because I'm gonna get back on the family thing. But, um, but yeah, um, and if you look at it, when he had, he was it was like you shouldn't be messing with this this French uh, this uh, this book of the uh, the book of sacred uh, magic of Abba Malin, you know what I'm saying the Maj. And as soon as he did it, he came in to the order. So he came from the outside world as is, as in the Matrix, and and came in. So and his his mother, uh, Alistair Crawley's mother, used to call him the B six 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 because his parents well, he came from a uh, like a, uh, I think a Christian or Protestant background, I believe, you know. So it's so crazy, and uh, he, his mother used to call him the Beast all the time. It's crazy, but uh, anyway, so it's crazy. Uh, if you look at it, after he was doing these uh, these rituals with these uh, with the Albert Malin magic, and it's a lot of good en energies you can use to also to your advantage if you if you use the book. Um, but he said once that happened. So you gotta look at it. That's that's like different version of the Necronomicon. See? Okay, so like another version. So if you look at Kutha or Cthulhu, that's considered the six 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 beast. Remember, uh there was it's a lot of correlation with him and uh HP Lovecraft. But uh but anyway, we're gonna get right so you, so these, these are things you can look up yourself. So if you're that interested, you can look it up yourself. And uh, get your hands on these uh, these texts so you can be, get familiar uh, with you know what's going on. But I'm gonna get back to the uh, the text dealing with family. All right, let's get right back into it. I think that family should include anybody. Oh, I make sure you see, you can see what I'm reading again. I'm not you know. Okay, back into it again. So this is uh, going back to where we was at earlier. I think that family should include any body of persons with common interests which they expect or wish you to share. One's old school or university, the regiment, the golf club, the business, the party, the country, uh, any of these dislike. Any of these may dislike. Very much your absorption in affairs alien 
to their own. But the family is the classic type because its pull is so potent and persistent. It began when you gave your first yell. Your personality is deliberately wrenched and distorted to the family code and their zoology is so inadequate that they always feel sure that their ugly duckling is a black sheep. Even for the fool, you know, who is in the tarot, look at the tarot deck, right? So the fool is the only card in the deck you can play throughout. Well, I'm not, I haven't, I'm not, I'm, I've checked it out and read. We can probably get into that one day. I might do a video on the fool uh, reading inside the, um, the Book of Thoth, which is Tahuti, uh, which is uh, Hermes in Greek. Tahuti is mainly you find in the Kemet or uh, Egypt. And um, Thoth, that's the, um, I forgot the, man, I forgot the, Thoth, Thoth, Thoth. That's, that's not the, uh, the Greek. That's the, um, because Hermes is the Greek name for Tahuti. Thoth is, I forget where it's at exactly, but it'll come to me. Uh, it'll come to me. Anyway, um, so the fool, even for the fool, even for their fool, they can find a use. He can be in the, in the, invaluable in the church, see, or the army. So, you just be the one that, that, you know, they can be tugged around pretty much. That's what they're looking at. So where do docile incompetence is the sure key to advancement. Mindless or spineless, you know. Curse them. They are always in the way. In the, in the Brahmin caste, the aspirant to yoga makes it a rule. To fulfill his duties to to the family and the, and the state. Once those jobs are definitely done, he cuts the painter and becomes sannyasi. Many of Maharaja, uh, that's like um, Hindu. Um, many of Wazir, to say nothing of less responsible people, plan their lives from their earliest days of wearing the sacred cord of. Brahmachari, which is Hindu too also. Brahma, Brahma, Abraham, unscrambled Brahma is Abraham. Like the Brahma bull. So the bull, Abraham, he was, in, was in Egypt. So the, he was under the bull as what? Hathor. It's all correlated, but it's just tugged away and shredded so you don't get the full story. So that's why it was like when he came back down from the mountain, so supposedly... Cause he had forty, or he had the laws of my art, my art from. Uh, so he just decided to pick ten, which was what the ten commandments. When he came off the, the mountain, um, and um, they was back to worshiping what, the bull, the Brahma bull. Down, so I got. I'm gonna get right back to the information. Okay. And when the right moment comes for him to disappear into the jungle. The rest is silence, a sound scheme that is provided that one has full confidence in, in the general theory. But we Caucasians happen, happen not to believe in the Vedas. Vedas is what? Hindu too also. At least not in the died in the wool sense. Died in the wool. Wool is what? The lamb has what kinky hair or nappy hair that's you know so think about this how are you how are you saying this some they, they talk like in parables you have to really kind of take it as a grain of sand and not be so uh gullible to, to certain things these are these are words uh that you have to decode uh died in the wool since which since which comes natural to the budding Brahmin. That means you're learning um, Brahmin as in like almost as a priest or if you're learning or collecting texts to get information. Um, as to our own, why our own? Scriptures no intelligent person takes them seriously anymore. 
Some folk whittle away merely in, in fashion a savior in their own images. Others strain the text and concoct a symbolic interpretation which is more or less satisfying as can be done with any bunch of legends, but such devices leave us without accepted authority and without that nobody is going to gamble away his life because thus the path for men of spiritual integrity integrity begins with absolute skepticism our methods must be exclusively inductive oh, get to back get to these points real quick the alternatives to the great work is the hodgepodge of dispersion of fatuity and disconnected nonsense to the to the performance of this work the nearest obstacle and the most obvious is the family its presumption is manifest in that it expects everybody to yield its first priority in the russian troubles following the october revolution general denikin who was trying to put humpty dumpty back on the wall captured the the aged parents of leon trotsky in command of the, of the enemy and chivalrously telegraphed him to withdraw his troops to certain positions, otherwise the old people would be shot. Trotsky replied, shoot. <laughs> the point of this story is that I hope it will answer your next question. You are so very clear and firm about the family and then why don't you insist all your pupils starting with the domestic domestic Holocaust. Why? Because a lot of my early rock climbing was done on a beachy head. So he had to pretty much learn. He, I'm, I'm just giving you up to speed that I'm moving. I got information and things to show you. I want to take all your time because I got very. I got hold on to this time. All right. Uh, if one's family were res uh, reasonable human beings, but they never are. He she sighed. She sighed after he said it. But one could uh, perhaps do um, wisely, wise liest, perhaps do wise liest by explaining the ex situation. This work of mine, do you not understand it? No need that you should, is the only important part of my life. I mean to be scrupulously careful in your feelings, and I see no reason why my chosen career should damage our relations. There is only one thing to remember. If I ever get the faintest suspicion that you are opposing me or condemning my plans or interfering in any way, and even in the most, in the best intentions, then with a single blow, I sever our relations and forever. Well, that's really very nice of you only one you might say but are not the only ones to be considered what about the masters the masters or is the actual um pretty much yeah being of the higher self when you start learning of yourself so i'm gonna go to the next part
Jesus. Me. But I never told you to lie. That's why you're so bad at it. Stop, Lumiere. 